We're back at Free Geek Vancouver for more vlogging, so uh, follow along with the exploits of, well, probably Dennis and Taryn are going to be pretty interesting storylines here. So uh, obviously we're filming this before we start, but uh, yeah, we're going to be reusing, reducing, recycling, reselling, rebuilding, and doing all those re things with computers, and it's going to be freaking awesome. Careful, Dennis. <laughs> A Pacer's Knox DDR4 Sodium laptop memory is designed for gamers and general consumers alike. Check out the link in the video description to learn more. So we are at the disassembly station. Gloves are required where we take apart the stuff that's too old or too broken to really be of much use to anybody. Um, so the point here is to pretty much find stuff like these old Pentium Pro CPUs, which are chock full of valuable metals like gold. Yar, it's like my gold tooth. Check this out. This computer has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen rear accessible expansion oh. slots. That is a lot of video cards. I wish I had a board like this for uh, seven gamers, one CPU. I could do 14 gamers, one CPU. Assuming I could find a, a similar dual power supply setup for that with like 120 millimeter cooling fans on each power supply. 420 watts total. Yeah, the power density is a little higher. I mean, Silverstone has a 650 watt. That's like this big now. Oh, sick. Look at this Pentium Pro. Oh. Pentium Pro, my friends. That is really not what that means. Okay. Well, I, I know. Cat, like, I'm a gun. stick a cap oh. in your. Yes. <laughs> That's not really what that means at all. Okay. Well, it's not a in your. <laughs> okay, push it in. Hey. So we're done with yeah. that one. What can and, we? Um, what else can we do? This pile of stuff. Yeah, I think this this pile is all the. <laughs> There's so much here. Okay, here. I think I have here, you, you take one of these. I'll take the other one. We'll see who does it quicker. Taryn and I are going to race to see who can disassemble this quicker. Ah, Burkle's winning already. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. How do I take if you off? fake wine, you're whining. Off? Okay, just. There's no screws. Wait, so you guys are racing and you're having Linus help you? Well, this is my secret weapon, is to just have Linus do it for me. Yeah, I'm actually not sure how this side panel comes yeah, off. Yeah, see if he doesn't know, how am I supposed to know? It's unlocked. Um, pop the front bezel off. Oh, interesting. Wait, the front comes off first? I think the whole thing comes off the front. So it would? Uh... I think it goes the other way. See those everywhere. I used to play a game called, like, Mother Mixed up Mother Goose, man. I mixed up Mother Goose, I had the same game. Me too. Yeah, I beat it several times. Several. Good for you. Dang it, Taryn. It's not about beating Mixed Up Mother Goose. It's not hard. If you look in here, you can see this clip that's holding it. Okay, for heaven's sakes. Okay, me and you are racing, so you gotta give this back to me. I was I was looking in the kitchen for muffins. I couldn't find any. This is not hard. Just taking stuff apart. It's fun to taking stuff apart, but it's actually not that easy because some stuff I'm not sure if it's just I have to use a screwdriver or should I just like break it? Actually, yeah, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, because there's some tape under the thing. It would be yeah. easier if we were allowed to break things. Yeah, but we're not allowed to break things. So I've been taking apart a tape drive. We found it right here. It has a SATA connection and an LSI controller, as you can see right there. I'm assuming this guy's dead, or else it wouldn't be in this pile. But if it wasn't, this would be worth a ton. There's random little hidden treasures all over here. In the store, which is behind us right now, but don't worry about it, there's a whole bunch of little things that I don't even know are for sale that I've never seen before in my entire life. It's super awesome. So this is kind of like the chill out station where you dig through all of the cables and 
pieces of cables and you chop the ends off of them and then you can you can actually sell the copper or the aluminum for a higher price than if they were still sheathed and still had connectors on them. The issue that Luke and I found with this station is that they have a lot of really good stuff in here. Like these? Yeah, these are awesome. So these are actually for uh, jumping two power supplies off of the same motherboard so that you can have a dual power supply system like what Austin was trying to do in the last Scrapyard Wars. They've got about a bazillion of these. Riser cards, one to 16 for running like Bitcoin machines basically. So probably someone who had an entire farm of Bitcoin machines or a whole bunch of people who had entire farms of Bitcoin machines. Cause there's actually like an obscene amount of these cables. Like we can probably pick out as many as we wanted to. I think the video card Bitcoin mining trend is, is done. I think it's dead. There's, there's a lot. There's other cables in here that are crazy as well. I don't know, this, why is there? Then basically all the end pieces go in here. Because these are the actually like non-valuable parts because they're going to be mostly plastic and whatnot. So they use these like giant cutters, just clonk. We all knew, we all knew where this mouse was going to end up. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 are you throwing these away too? Do you know what these are? No, these are for running dual power supplies. So this jumps the green and the black pin so you can run two power supplies at the same time when you uh, when you power on the system. Tell me Austin could use this in Scrapyard Wars? <laughs> I am telling you Austin that should have used this in Scrapyard Wars, yeah. I mean, I know you guys can't keep everything, but like, <laughs> these these are actually, like these again are probably about five, 10 bucks a pop. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know who you would sell them to, that's yeah, the issue. Yeah, finding the buyer. Yeah, finding the buyer is the hard part. But, uh, geez, I feel like I could spend all day digging through this cable bin now. So I'm down to 2.5 inch drives. I'm gonna to try to go through all of them all at once. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Put this. I'm taking stuff apart. Oh, that's so hard. And like, you have to, you have to take it apart. So it's not, Really broken, but it's, it's kind of broken. What if you broken now? You alive? You have a flathead. What's flathead? That's all. My computer's not working. What should I do? Uh, can you blow on the cartridge? And put the CPU back in? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why so quiet? Because you're slow. Here, stop. Go up. Again? There you go. Oh, I like that sound. Fish eye. Does it work? No. No. no? Oh. That's really fun. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I thought that stopped at the top. <laughs> oh, look at all that copper. Whoa! So it's like an elevating optical drive, so it can move out of the way if you need to work on it. That's actually pretty sick. Hey, sometimes you operate a camera. Cool. Multi-talented. Wait, I thought you did operate a camera for a lot of Linus's videos. Yeah, actually I did. But not that one of that stature. Yeah, a much simpler camera. The same button to zoom and zoom out? Well, if it's an articulating button, like a servo button. Okay, technically, yes, Carriage. It's one button with two switches. So if you were watching this video and thinking to yourself, gee, what a handsome and well-groomed gentleman that line of Sebastian is. I appreciate your honesty, but I cannot take all the credit. It is thanks to Dollar Shave Club that I can have my face all smooth and clean looking without spending too much. Because when you go to the store and you buy the refill cartridges for your razors, it is costing so much money and I can't figure out why when Dollar Shave Club for just a couple dollars a month can ship you your razor handles and then new blades once a month 
so affordably, like right to your door. You don't even have to go out and buy it. And they've got other great bathroom supplies too, including their aftershave, their shave butter that goes on clear so you can see what you're doing, and their One Wipe Charlie's peppermint scented butt wipes for men. The mirror is not included so you can see what you're doing with those. So all you gotta do to join is head over to dollarshaveclub.com slash Linus, linked in the video description, and join the club like so many hundreds upon hundreds of our Linus Tech Tips subscribers. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our vlog here at Free Geek as much as we enjoyed making it. Huge shout out to those guys for putting up with us all day and thanks to you for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, then hit that like button. If you disliked it, you can dislike it too. That is an option. But if you enjoyed it, you can also get subscribed. You can even consider supporting us by checking out the link in the top right of the video there on how to change your Amazon bookmark to one with our affiliate code. Uh, you can check out our merch, t-shirts, hoodies, all that kind of good stuff. Now that you're done doing all that stuff, you're probably wondering, what should I watch next? Why don't you check out the One Machine LAN Party? Yes, my friends, we finally hooked up the Seven Gamers machine and all of us played Team Fortress 2. Well, some of us sat in front of computers that ran Team Fortress 2 and we sucked at it, but we all tried to play anyway.